And if we could have Ronnie Zarr come towards the, the stage. This is a, um, an excellent uh, next pres presentation through our partner, uh, Dispure Uptive, Clara, Sam, and their team who have introduced us to Ronnie. Could we have the next slide, please? Yep, fantastic. And uh, Ronnie? is going to talk to you uh, today, building on some of the um, great in insightful um, thoughts of real estate and Nicole's presentation um, on his business. Could you please, would you mind please, everybody taking a seat and giving Ronnie your full attention. Please welcome Ronnie Zarr. So I'll, it's been a long day, I'll keep it short, I uh, promise. Um, I want to first start off by saying thank you, Julie, and Disruptive. This has been great to meet with you guys, some bright minds doing some wonderful things. Um, it's, a, it's a pleasure to be here. So I was kind of last second. I'm not, there's no bio on me, so I'm going to give you a quick little rundown. Um, born in Lebanon, we were immigrants to the United States, didn't have much. I grew up with a single mom. She worked her ass off to get us, you know, the bare necessities. And so as... Um, as Gianfranco was talking about earlier, he said that uh, to be successful, you find something broken and you, you try to fix it, and that's success. Well, to be wealthy, I think you have to create wealth in other people and you become uh, wealthy yourself. And so that's what we're trying to do here with this uh, tokenized real estate project in the UK. So I studied math, did a master's in financial engineering, um, I started a company, it was data analytics for real estate investments, and I, I read an article about blockchain technology um, revolutionizing real estate. I fell in love, I was jealous actually. I fell in love with the concept, um, sold my shares in this company, moved back to Dubai, got married, moved back to Dubai, and jumped straight on this. Took a job with, um, with a great company, it's a firm that's been around for 30 years, and I pretty much convinced them that Please, this and me, let's do this tokenized project. Took four months, you know, British are a little slow. Um, took about four months to get them in, and they finally, they, they went with it. The idea is to democratize real estate investing. Right now, if you want to develop a project in the UK, you have a couple options. You're either going to go to an institutional investor, a uh, commercial lender, or you're going to sell um, individual apartments to um, investors. So I, I, might, I might sell 25% of the a building, to individual investors, they have to deal with solicitors, mortgages, furniture packs, a lot of middlemen. And, and as Nicole was saying earlier, you're, you're wasting about 20% of your money um, on, on transactional costs that you don't need. That should be going to the investors. By the way, I love your project. Um, and, and so besides all that, it's just much more efficient. So um, imagine if a, a nurse, like my mom was a professor and a nurse, or uh, a teacher. Right now, they can't invest in real estate. Unless they save for their whole life, it's very tough for them to get into real estate. Um, but imagine if you, like a Vanguard account, if you could take $100 from your, from your salary every month and put it into real estate every month and earn, you know, so we just talk about leveraging. In, in equities, you don't really leverage your investment. But in real estate, $100, if you make 3%, you're making 3% on $300. Um, so it's nine, nine percent returns rather than three percent returns. So imagine a teacher or anybody, any any blue collar worker can get into real estate, especially a project like, like this. So let me show you this project real quick. Um, make sure I know how to use this. That's not right. That's not right. I'm colorblind too. This one. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay, so it's a hundred. It's a hundred eighty unit residential development right off River Irwell, Manchester. It's a forty three million pound development uh, GDV, and we're raising twenty million um, pounds through um, through an STO. Our technology partner is Tezos. Um, we're very close with Hubertos out of Zug, Switzerland. Um, and we're giving away 80.5% equity for that 20 million. The other 23 million will come from a commercial lender, which is, which is normal, but we'll be able to dictate terms. The way, the way um, commercial lenders work now is they'll say, hey, look, sell 25% of the building and then we'll kick in funding. Well, then they give you terms and they'll say, hey, well, look, 25 is not enough, do 30. Or, or th they keep on putting different terms on you and so you're almost, you know, you're a slave to the banks. 
A quick little story about the, the CEO or the founder of um, Alliance, um, Alliance Investments. His name is uh, David Russell. In 2008, RBS, on Christmas Day, called his loan in as well as a bunch of other uh, um, developers. He's taken RBS to court now for 10 years. If he wins this case, there's about 75 other smaller developers who, who are going to win. Um, commercial lenders do this. They, they want the upper hand on everything that they, they're doing. So the idea behind doing something like this is we're taking the power away from commercial lenders and putting it in, in our hands. Um, you know, whether it's institutional investors or professional investors or regular retail investors across the board. Um, so, so this particular project, we're expecting 16, 18% returns. Um, it's, like I said, it's, it's, um, it's 180, um, 180 residential units, uh, one commercial space, and it's right off River Irwell. Should be done 2021. Um, and that's just a quick brief brief on, on the project. Um, it's, it's, again, it's right in the heart of Manchester. It's right on R River Irwell. I can go on and on in Manchester, but you guys are tired. Let me just get to the blockchain part. Um, so, yes, obviously, uh, Manchester is a booming market. The way you, there's 18 year real estate cycle or business cycle. The first seven, eight years, London does amazing. The next seven, eight years, Manchester, Birmingham, those markets boom. And so Manchester has been doing really well and should continue doing well over the next five, six years. We expect about 20% growth in the next three, four years. Um, okay, so the global real estate market is about $217 trillion. It's massive. However, only 81 trillion is actually accessible to us. Well, imagine if we can liquidate or invest in the other 130, 140 million. Sorry. <laughs> uh, imagine if we can um, access the other 130, 140 million, which is not accessible to us. It's only accessible to the, to the biggest institutional investors or the professional investors. And that's what we're trying to do. So if, if you look at this um, here, only about 54 trillion of the 104 trillion in residential um, projects is accessible to, to investors like us. And we're trying to make the rest accessible, whether it's agriculture, whether it's farming, whether it's commercial, whatever it is. We just want um, a lot more um, liquidity in this market. And by tokenizing real estate assets, this is exactly what we'll be doing. Just like um, the gentleman right before me who was speaking, um, we'll be able to trade these tokens on exchanges like this or like VJs, who has, who has one coming up in London, um, or Six, sorry, or Six, or Jix, or any one of these exchanges. So. Um, Yana could go buy, could take $100, buy a token, uh, a tokenized asset in this project. If she wants to sell her asset in three, four months, she just lists it in one of these exchanges and sold. And she makes, you know, when you tokenize something, you're making money off the dividend yields or the capital appreciation or the SBV that owns the whole land and the project, everything with it. So there's a lot of ways to actually make money in real estate by tokenizing the asset. Um, so, yes, yeah, so what are the challenges right now in real estate? Um, lack of liquidity is the biggest thing. If I buy, um, over my time, I've bought and sold, bought and rented, bought and lived, and bought and foreclosed about 18 properties. And every time you want to sell, it's like 90, 120 days, in the, even the best markets, you talk about 90, 120 days to get money in your pocket. So that's one thing we want to change. We want to make sure that if you get into real estate and you want to liquidate your investment, it should be a few days or a few hours. Now, this is in the beginning, and in the beginning, it's probably going to be 30 days, but eventually it'll be 15 days, then 10 days, then eventually it'll be just like if you bought a stock, an Apple stock. You buy it one minute, sell it the next, or a currency, or whatever it may be. Um, yes, we talked about high transaction costs. Another thing, complications of cross-border transactions. So I have a very good friend. He works uh, for the, he's a diplomat for the UN. He's Sudanese, and he wanted to buy a, 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 a a regular apartment in Manchester. I connected him, I said, don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. We took him to the solicitor, they rejected him. He's a diplomat, he's been working for the UN for 20 years, why they reject him? Because he's Sudanese, right? So we took him to a few other solicitors, it was taken care of, but we, we won't have to deal with that once we we're dealing with um, digital ledger technology. Um, all right, so why, why do we tokenize real estate assets? Low entry ticket, as Nicole was saying earlier, we're eliminating so many costs. Mortgage brokers take your money. Real estate agents take your money. Um, solicitors take your money. I mean, on and on and on. You have evaluations, appraisals. When, when you use digital ledger technology, you're not only um, streamlining the whole process, but um, you're going to be able to verify um, um, the, uh, the title deeds, 
um, insurance payments, where the materials came from, the construction, everything will be on digital technology, and it'll be instantaneous. And all those costs will be, will be, um, will be eliminated. So um, again, it'll be at least another 20% returns for the investor. So it's what, are, what are the advantages? We talked a lot about, about this. It's, it's seamless, it's instantaneous, um, it's liquid, and that's what we want to do with you. You, you want to be able to get into real estate, get in and get out in minutes, and that's what we're trying to do here. And again, it's not going to happen overnight. There's, there's been a few amazing projects. Aspen Coin was a uh, $18 million um, STO raise, a St. Regis Hotel in Aspen, Colorado. There was a Manhattan redevelopment. Uh, it's coming up here in a second. Uh, $18 million. Um, there was just one last week in France. It was called Anna Villa in south of France, $6.5 million. Was the whole, so it's a small raise, 6.5 million, 100 tokens broken up in 100,000 units. So each, you can invest for as little as 6.5 euros. It was brilliant. And so there's only been a few of them. And this is, the, the, the one we're doing here in Manchester is the first in the UK. Um, there should be a, a Bloomberg press, press release today or tomorrow uh, discussing our partnership with Tezos and, and 500 million worth of projects over the next five years. And, that, and, that's, and that's what we're looking to do. We really want to um, revolutionize how people fund and how people invest in real estate projects. Oh, here it is. So St. Regis, beautiful hotel, 18 million. You had um, 30 million um, in the meatpacking district of Manhattan. Um, I know Rudy said, he, Rudy lives right there, so he knows it. Um, this was one of the first projects. Um, there was a hub at Columbia, so, um, not Columbia University, but, but uh, South, um, South Carolina University. Um, they raised 20 million. There's a technology park. Uh, there's a company right now, Peak Bridge Partners, I think in Germany, they're, they're raising 200 million to do a whole um, uh, office, commercial office space. So, so this is a booming sector, um, but we're still in the very beginning of it, and it's, 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 it's in, in its infancy. Um, and then the last few slides are about us. We've been around, like I said, we've been around for 30 years. Um, we started off with um, taking contracts for external works, then we did commercial space, wholesaling. Um, uh, retail spaces, and then in 2008, what we realized is there's a huge shortage of residential properties in the Northwest. So they need 57,000 homes by 2027. They're on pace for about 30,000. So the market's gonna continue. It's just a, a supply, of fundamental economics. It's a supply and demand um, issue. So we got into residential in 2008. We have eight projects right now, eight residential projects in Manchester, one in Birmingham, one in Newcastle under Lyme. Um, this project is off-plan residential. We're gonna do student next, commercial after that. And we have a 300 million pound portfolio that we're gonna release 50 million of and um, allow people to make rental income off of, off of that. So, we, so we, have a, we, have, we have a five year plan to work with Tezos, securitize, where he's just right here, um, and disruptive. So um, we're very excited about what we're doing. So this is just a quick little history about us. That these are some of the projects that we've done. Um, these are, these are our current developments that we have. We have more than this. I just, you know, we only had one slide. And then this is really, this is really the base. David Russell, he's the, um, he's the guy that's taken RBS to court. I love it. Um, other than that, I'll keep it quick. That's about it. Um, thanks for your time. Excellent, Ronnie. Thank you. Have a seat here. That's very good. Excellent. I'm sorry, it's so warm in here, but we'll... we'll um, yes, I know. No, no, no. So listen, um, absolutely fan fantastic, but tell the audience about yourself. Oh, okay. Um, like I said, I, uh, I grew up in Boston. Uh, we, we lived in West Roxbury. My mom used to sneak us into a better school district, so my sister and I would walk a mile every day, jump in her car. We'd go to a richer neighborhood to get better education. Um, she transferred to UCLA, so we, we grew up in Los Angeles. I went to UC Davis, studied math. About a month before graduating, I started reading Robert Kiyosaki, so I forgot I need to learn sales. Moved to LA, learned sales, went to South Florida, and I've been in real estate my whole life. In 2003, I launched my first company. It was a mortgage company. And um, I'm sure you guys have seen the big short. It really wasn't that bad. I actually thought I was doing well. I was trying to give, you know, lower income people mortgages so they would have, I didn't know they had a 520 credit score because they don't pay bills. I thought maybe they had a one off. So I would give them two year mortgage. I would pay off all their debts. I'd coach them all the way. Two years later, they'd be in a worse situation and, and it got compounded and whatever. So I, I did buy a lot of real estate at that time, but I, I was always into this idea that I want to help people make money in real estate. I thought that's it's a very easy way, not easy, but it's, it's a very efficient way to become a millionaire. Um, and I started off in the mortgage industry. 
went bankrupt in 2008. I had a, many, many properties, over leveraged, went bankrupt, went back to uh, Silicon Valley, launched, uh, launched a tech company, um, was, was a little out of it, went to Lebanon, got my master's in um, you know, MBA, focused on financial engineering. Uh, did my thesis on the idea that um, these big banks, when they, do f when they do these futures, they push prices up. At the time, oil prices were 114. My professor didn't want to touch it because it was against the grain, but it was true. These, these larger banks, Goldman Sachs, they, when they roll these futures, they push prices up. So um, I've always been fascinated by how money moves in the markets. And then, um, and like I said, I started a company. It was data analytics for real estate investors. It was called Monopoly Kings. And I read this article about the blockchain, and I've been doing this ever since. Okay, excellent. Now, uh, any questions uh, for Ronnie in the audience? Um, when did you twig that something really, that, that you had to do this business? When was it that you, and, and are you, you part of the founding team? Did you join it? The, the yeah, tell so us about this, the exactly where you, you're situated. Dubai has plenty of opportunity, but you don't just jump in there and find the best firms. Okay. So uh, we, I, I got married August 2017, um, went there September, took a little while. So I got in a couple of real estate firms that they just didn't have the capacity. I ran into an old friend named Ronnie, who was the global sales director of this firm, Alliance. He mm -hmm. introduced me to Tom. Mm -hmm. um, Tom and I, are, he's an entrepreneur as well. Um, he, he started the company in Hong Kong, and he and I just went at it. He loved what I had to say. They were already thinking about this already, mm -hmm. and I was the right man for the job to do this. So it, but like I said, it took several months to get everything going because it's a very new concept. Um, but the whole team's on board, and they love what we're doing. Everyone's really excited about this. And, and, and again, we really think this is the future of how things will be funded, how projects will be funded. How can this group participate in your business? Uh, okay, yeah, so yes, I never brought that up. So yes, we're, we're raising 20 million. We've already, uh, we've already raised 5 million um, of this project. We're gonna raise another 10 million from institutional investors. The last 5 million will be strictly for retail. We wanna do that because we want retail investors involved. So yes, what we're looking for right now is another 10 million um, in funding. Um, and um, whether it's from institutional investors pro um, uh, or, or professional investors or family offices, but yes, that's the ne next route. We're, we're, okay. we, we believe we'll be able to do that in the next 60 to 90 days. And so, yes, uh, you helping us raise money will be paramount to what okay. we're doing. And uh, if everything goes really, really right with your vision and you're kind of pretty much straight on with where you think the market is and how this all plays out. Give the audience a vision of how your business looks in five years' time. Yes, we'll do. Uh, it's gonna take roughly three, four months for this raise to be done. We've already secured the commercial loan, so we just need this other 15 million. So say another 90, 120 days. So right when this is done, we're gonna take some of our commercial assets and, and tokenize that, because those are already producing income about eight, nine percent. So we wanted across the board. We want people to make money on capital appreciation. This one should be about 16, 18%. We have student accommodation where we guarantee seven and a half to eight and a half percent. We have our commercial properties, which are nine, 10%. And then we also have hospitality. We have a couple hotels right now being built in Manchester. So the idea is to allow people to invest in, a, in, in every sector in the real estate industry. And um, so over a five year period, we believe we'll have, um, it, it, oh, again, like I said, like a Vanguard account. People will go on to, um, uh, an exchange, they'll buy an asset that's, that's off plan, they'll buy a student accommodation to make mm -hmm. fixed income, and, mm -hmm. and they'll be able to diversify in real estate, where right now it's, 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 it's not possible. Okay. So we see ourselves as leading that way, we, we, a Vanguard or, a, or an ETF account for real estate. Any questions? Sam, please. The way it works now, yeah, great question. The way it works now is so, it, it'll, it'll get better again. It, it, it's very new, so you know, even with the exchanges like you were talking about, it's very new, so th there's, there's ups and downs. The way it works now is you have a specific, like the Aspen coin. So ours is the River Plaza coin, right? Or I mean, it'll probably be called RPR, River Plaza Residence, or so, something like that. You will have this token. At some point, if you want to flip that, you would, you would list this token on an exchange, take that money, and then buy, um, not, you know, whatever, like our student accommodation is called the Met, then you would, you would buy it into that, or you would just keep it and diversify. But each token is special to one project. 
Any other, Kevin? Yeah, yeah. Any other any other questions for Ronnie? Yes, please, Hugh. We got a mic coming right over your shoulder. Yes. So, what are you looking for from um, platforms in terms of promoting uh, the launch of a new project? I mean, when you yeah. when you first list, right, um, you want to get some splash, right? You want to get some. You want to get a surge of interest. Um, mm. Uh, and what are you looking for in order to help that along from, a, from an exchange or from a platform? Okay. <coughs> for, for right now, our, our plan is this. Uh, we're, we're, um, we're incorporating in Cayman. We're very interested in Six, in Jix, in a London exchange, all three of those. And we definitely want something in the Far East as well. Um, again, ideally, we want it, we want it so that um, we want it on an exchange so people, if they want to get out of their money for whatever, they have to pay rent or whatever it is, it, it should be instantaneous. We're just not there yet. So, but we do want liquidity. That's the biggest part of an exchange is that, just like you said, the toughest part of a liquidity provider for you is liquidity. <laughs> That's what we're trying to really do is, is create liquidity in the real estate market, which is non-existent right now. I mean, that, that's the reason we have automated market making on our exchange um, and from third parties at arm's length, so there's no conflict of interest. That's the big sort of feature that we think is very important. And I, I know Fusion very well. Uh, um, one of my best friends worked for a company called Envelop. Envelop and Fusion are very close. So, yeah, we're very familiar with what you're doing. Thank you. Excellent. Any other last questions for Ronnie? Ronnie, thank you very much for being thank with us. Much. Excellent presentation. Super interesting vision. Thank, thank you. you very Thanks very much. Outstanding. Very good.